When I was 13, I was sexually abused. And I love to share the story with you. I was only a 13 year old boy. And my parents already separated. So I moved in with my mom. We used to have a family friend. His name, I want to disclose. He stayed in the main city of our state and we were living at the local town in our community. He was doing so well at the time and was loved and respected in our little community. As a 13 year old kid, my father already taught me plumbing. So there was no war or bricks that I couldn't break through with my hammer and chisel. And that was how I met him in one of his projects. He saw a 13 year old kid and he was fascinated about how smart, clever, hardworking and strong I was. And he did his findings. He realized that I was a kid to an old friend. And that is my mom. My mom just wanted me to be a great kid. She never knew that behind that greatness, there were some dark areas that I also needed to contest with. So I was allowed to walk directly with him. And for me, I was excited. I'll go to his place anytime he comes back from the city, help him with the ironings, polishing his shoes, running around by him field. I was excited. And then one day he asked that I stay over, that I spend the night in his place. And I said, no, I didn't tell my mom about spending the night here. I have to go home and she'll be worried if I don't get back home tonight. So I left. And the next day he spoke with my mom about me spending the night sometimes with him. My mom, being that he was a family friend and also I had never complained to her about anything. I proved it. The first night, he offered that I sleep in bed with him. And I said, no, that I respect people's bed a lot. At that time, I just cannot even sit in people's bed or talk less of sleeping on their bed. So I'm always respectful of people's privacy, especially their beds. So I said, sir, I would rather sleep in the rock. And he gave me a pillow and a duvet. And as the night went by, I woke up and realized that someone was lying beside me at my back, holding my waist. I didn't understand. As a 13 years old kid, I didn't understand what was going on. So I was confused. And I noticed the bed was empty, no one was there. So why is he sleeping beside me so close and even holding my waist? So I gently moved his hand and he pretended that he was sleeping. So I moved away from him. And few minutes passed by, he comes close again. And this time I wanted to know what he was up to. So. He began to hold my waist, caressing me all from my waist down, went as far to grab me by the genitals. And then I squeak and move away from him. This time I moved very far away, placing my butt on the wall and facing him this time. That was how I escaped from that first attempt. As a 13 year old boy at the time, I knew about sex. My parents told me about sex. I was told about sex in school. I learned about sexuality education and stuff like that. But there was no way and no place and nowhere someone mentioned the word gay to me. My mother never talked about gay. My father never talked about gay. Not even in school. We didn't. Nobody taught us about gays. I never had an idea 
what it was. I knew that sex or call between a man and a woman, not a man and a man. So I was confused. I thought it was just something that night that he was just dreaming and stuff like that. So the next day, the same thing happened. The third day, the same thing happened. And the fourth day again, it happened. I kept running towards that wall and placing myself there. And then I never went back. My mom asked me why I didn't want to go back. I didn't say anything to her because I never understood what it was. First of all, I was scared that if I even told my mom about something like that, she wouldn't believe me because she never told me about anything as such. I never had that confidence or that cognition to know a thing like that. So it will be like a joke or probably some kind of a lie. My mom kept asking and asking. I didn't. I just told her I don't want to go back there. And one thing my mom did that that I loved so much was that she respected my actions. She never forced me or pushed me there or dragged me there and take me there by force. She just let me be. And 15 years later, my mom called me on the phone and told me, hey, that your old boss has been arrested of sexual abuse. And the first thing that I asked my mom was that, sexual abuse with who? A man or a woman? And she said, he sexually assaulted a guy and the guy took it upon him and pushed him so hard and now he's in prison. And then she went as far to say that, that he was not the only one he had abused. He had abused a lot of boys in our community. Now he's divorced, his wife has left because of that and all of that. And he wants to tell me about it. And I was mute. She began to call, hey, are you there, son? Manuel, are you there? And I was like, I am here, mom. And I said, mom, you know why I stopped going to his place? And mom was shocked. He said, he abused you. I said, yes. He said, why? In the world, didn't you tell me? He said, I was scared. I didn't understand what it was. And she said, I should have just said something. Maybe if you told me, I would have gone head to head. And maybe he wouldn't have gone that far to have abused more kids. I said I was scared. I didn't know, but I just stopped going there. And she said, thank God that you stopped. And I apologized to her and told her I'm sorry that I didn't tell her. And I also thank her for not pushing me back to him. Or forcing me back to him. The moral lesson of my story is that every parent in the world must, shall, should look out for their kids and teach them everything they ought to know and build more confidence in them and let them speak out whenever, wherever, whosoever, make any funny or any move that they do not understand, they should speak out and express themselves to someone so that they are properly cleared and pulled through. This message is also for all the kids in the world that they should try as much as possible to look out for themselves. Walk away like I did if you feel you're not comfortable wherever you are, walk away if you don't feel right about something. Walk away if you don't feel right about that move. Speak to someone about it. 
if you're not comfortable about something. I am grateful to God every day that I was turned into something that I wasn't made for. Thank you so much for listening. And may God bless you all as you share my story.